Yeah, I'm gonna, this next story is really, really yeah. This is just me. This is really what happens when <laughs> this is essentially a woman admitting to the world that there is no patriarchy left, mm-hmm. not in the West, because there is no accountability whatsoever, even for a scheming, conniving, narcissistic quantaha like Jada Pinkett Smith. <clears throat> All right. Now, she first can... of all, I, I, I'm going to go on the record. I don't personally know her or her husband, Mr. Smith. I will say this. I have been a big fan of Mr. Smith since the very, very beginning. Yeah, I, I like... am incredibly disappointed in the horrible showing of manhood that uh, he did it during those uh, the Oscar slap. Yeah. Against Chris Rock, who's a known comedian. They were friends for decades prior to this. Yep. All right, and all of this happened to Mr. Smith. One, well, two reasons. One, he's mentally and spiritually weak, in my opinion. And his wife is an absolute narcissistic, bipolar, backstabbing, throat cutting bitch. Does that cover everything? Sounds about right. And she can't seem to keep her story straight, which is where I, I'm starting to truly question her mental health. Well, I also think that she's doing this so she could stay in the limelight. Yeah, she's just going to keep changing her story around so yeah. that articles like this get written. Well, Hollywood is like in the, in the process of canceling her the fuck out. <laughs> As they should. Yes. So. Ugh. so Her friends beg her to make up her fucking mind and claim she has split from Will Smith, but actress insists they're in a beautiful place. She claimed that she and Will have been living separate lives since 2016, but then days later she said that he was still her man. All right, hang on. And they're in a beautiful place. The beautiful place that she's talking about is uh, let, let's just okay. Oh, here we go. Hang on. <laughs> right, so this beautiful place it's a sea of dicks! <laughs> Except his because she needs him for a wallet. Thus, the beautiful situation. So beautiful. Am I wrong here? I believe I am over the target, and the carpet bombing is wreaking havoc. Sounds about right. Wow! (laughs) It just gets worse and worse. Her friends are growing tired of her spreading two different narratives that are completely confusing everyone. Day after she claimed that they secretly split seven years prior, but then backtracked and insisted that their life partners in a beautiful place. Mm-hmm. Jada is now 52 and shocked the world last week when she made the revelation that she and Will, who's now 55, who wed in 97, have been living totally separate lives since 2016 after she said she became exhausted from trying to repair their fractured marriage. But then she left everyone scratching their heads when she claimed that she were not that he, her and Will were not broken up, but were working hard to repair their romance, and that he was still very much still her man in other interviews. All right. I, I, All right so he's the same age as I am. He's yeah. uh, he's basically a kindergartner in the world of uh, senior citizenship, just like me. <laughs> but just about, yeah. But yeah, I was. Uh, there's a bunch of articles I was reading on this that you know she's an alpha widow from Tupac. Yeah, she's talking about how she used to put on Tupac in order to set the mood just so she could even, you know, yeah. get lubed up for the occasion. All right. Mm-hmm. Tupac would have used her and abused her and turned her out to the streets, which is where she belongs. And 100%. that's what Will should do. And He shouldn't be slapping people. He should be smacking her on the ass on her way out the door. And there's a lesson in this. And that lesson is don't be a fucking simp or a cuck. Yeah. The minute that shit happens and you get evidence of it, it is over. Save yep. your dignity, honor, and self respect. Those are the three most valuable things a man can have. Mm-hmm. And women are experts at digging that shit out of you and ruining you. Amen. Uh, continues here. Jada's friends and those who know her are telling her to make up her mind when it comes to her story. Everyone feels like she is now drafting two narratives and is completely confusing because everyone in actuality, there are because confusing everyone because in actuality they're separated and there's no chance of them getting back to the happily married partners that they once were. No one understands why Jade is walking back on everything she said and her PR team is advising her not to do any more interviews. 
Well, because, yeah, I mean, she's literally playing both sides of the fence. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, She wants deniability for the fact that she cheated on him with one of her children's friends. Right. Well, it but was she also wants, domain. But she also wants to, you know, do the Hillary Clinton thing where you stand by your man. <laughs> even though, it's, it's, I pray that... Nothing even remotely sausage shaped has been in the presence of that. Please don't come gargling thunder cunt. All right, stop. That's just terrible. That's a terrible image. It, it could be way worse. And, and I, I can got, make it worse. Uh, no, don't. I can make it way no, worse. No, no, please don't. Oh, are you sure? Yes. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. Uh, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I You're welcome. hate that. This is why you guys miss me, right? Stop! <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, you bet. And she's got like <laughs> alopecia, right? Yeah. Supposedly. She's she, she going bald. But she's got hair and stuff. I mean, I don't I, know. I don't know. I, mean, I, I personally don't give a shit. I mean. The last thing that I saw her in that I liked her in was Gotham. And now that I know what she's really like, it was prop- the reason she was so good is because she was basically playing herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An yeah. evil narcissistic quantaha. Now, I personally don't have anything against an individual with alopecia because I used to date a woman. Oh, yeah, you told me all about that. One yeah. flake of hair on her entire body. Yeah, I bet that was fun on some days. And that woman was racked and stacked. Just saying. Yeah, no wax once, needed. Once I got over the no hair thing, I didn't even notice it after that. Yeah. As long as she's Mrs. Clean and not Mr. Clean, uh, yes. you're fine. <laughs> that could be bad. Uh, that would not happen. I'm sure there are some veterans who could tell stories about similar situations in Thailand and <laughs> the Philippines. <laughs> that's not a good. That's not a good story. No, you, no, you don't need that. It's uh, it's how you get punched. It's, <laughs> it's not good. But you know, we can all sleep well tonight as long as we're not in this room. This is fucked up here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, and spinal compression surgery is necessary. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. You now, can genuinely fuck somebody up doing right, that. So he was laying down, so chances are he probably is okay. Now, if you do that when somebody's sitting in a chair, you literally oh. fucked him for life. Cause that I is... think the mattress probably saved him. Yeah. Because if it had been if it, if he had been laying on something smaller where his back could like hyperextend in the wrong yeah. direction, That's ooh. Bad. Listen, that's serious business there. Bad news bears. I would not enjoy that myself. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.